Good morning from a very bumpy Gibb River Road. So, woke up this morning in Windjammer Campground. Oh, it was so lovely, the birds were chirping. It was nice and cool at half five this morning. So, just chilled out, had a cup of tea, just enjoyed the, the nature. Um, uh, now, we are headed off back out of Windjammer Gorge, back onto the main Gibb River Road, and up to Bell Gorge. And then we're going to see how we get on. There's a couple more gorges if we've got time, we'll do. Otherwise, we're going to make our way up to. Manning Gorge. Of course, you can't go very fast on these roads. Um, this is the Gibb River Road. Actually, I'm going to be corrected now because we're on a turn off from the Gibb River Road because uh, we're on the road up to Windjana heading back down. I will obviously show you the actual Gibb River Road when we get there. But, um, oh gosh, parts of this are so corrugated, it's so, <laughs> so quite difficult to drive. But uh, yesterday I was driving, so I couldn't film. And uh, a lot of fun. I love this off-road driving. And uh, what was our casualties yesterday? Oh yeah, one bag of water burst. Other than that, I survived quite well. Well, this is the Leonard River. Now, you may remember we camped just there on our first night on the Gibb River Road. So, two nights ago. So, we've just put our tires up and now we're nearly on the bit where we've got to put them down again. Oh dear. But this is the Gibb River Road. We are actually on it now, yes. Look at the scenery. I don't know if you can see up ahead because the sun's in a funny direction. But I'm going to show you. You can see a whole range of gorgeous and fun. started driving yesterday on the corrugations it was going quite slow and god you could feel every bump um, and everybody was like speeding past me and i remember hearing from one of you guys on youtube that to drive the gib river you need to go faster and ride over the corrugations so i sped up and it makes such a difference obviously we let our tires down work well yesterday and today we're currently in forward drive Ooh, about the need to go into the diff block yet, but um, if you're wondering why we look like we're going so fast, that is why. It just makes the drive so much more comfortable because you can tend to like just ride over them and don't feel them as much. And then everything doesn't shake so much in the van. But there are some places where it's so bad you have to go slow and uh, everything shakes. It's an experience. in a cloud of it. Blah, can't see anything. <laughs> the dust. The dust is everywhere. It's in your hair. It's in your throat. <laughs> oh, dear. In your pants. Now, I can tell you, the car is absolutely filthy. My camera stabilization. Wait. 
really bad corrugations at the moment. Blue I'll see if you should go slower. Not you, Blue. Keep your eyes on the red. Bells Creek, our first water crossing. Woohoo! There's not much oh, water, look at that. but it's still exciting. Yeah. How pretty is that? So we had, to, yeah, we had to stop because that was a big truck coming, and honestly, the dust they kick up. It's bad enough behind the car, but as you can see then we can see anything. So the best thing to do is just stop and wait for the... Well, the clear. <laughs> yes. You don't know what you're going to see. It's got parts of it quite windy. Um, but I don't think it's been that, that bad so far. Do you know how deep it is, Zoe? What do we do? Go through it. I just go through it. Oh look, river crossing. Here we go. <laughs> How deep is it? Oh, it's not that deep. <laughs> you can't go faster because you can't see the boulders at the bottom. Woohoo! Water crossing! Number two! Actually, had some water in it. Oh, another creek crossing. That was a slow one. There's not much water here. Let me see. and corrugated and windy Very and windy. quite narrow in places. Yeah, dippy. Good job I don't have false teeth yet. They would have fallen out. So here we are at Bell Gorge. So there's two trails. Bell Gorge Trail. Yep. About an hour, class four. And then we carry on to the Falls Trail. Approximately two hours. There we go. Well, it's going to be hot coming back up this hill. Just making my way down. Here we've got a, some water on my side hook. And I think we're climbing around those rocks. It's very beautiful, isn't it? I'm assuming this is the creek bed. It's obviously dry this time of year. I actually can walk it. It's not very comfy on your feet. Walking on sand now, it's a lot easier. Come away, flies. I think this is the top pool, isn't it? I think we go up there, Zoe, here yeah, we go across. See where that sign post is? Yep. Up there along the top and then down. Swell. 
So we've done the, this is the Dalmany Gorge Trail, now we're doing to the falls. The Bell Falls Trail. Okay, there we go, look at that. Now we've got to go up and over to get to the falls. See, now we're at the top of the falls and we're going to climb up and down so we can get down there, have a swim and see the falls. Let's do this. In by after this heat is at the moment. How am I going to get across that? Yeah, that's really slippy there, so. Oh man. So I have to basically go on my hands and knees to get across that rock pool. And pretty much my hands and knees to go up onto this. It's steep. Probably like it's steep. It's very slippy. Oh, that breath. Take my time. Oh man, get on my bum. I'm stuck on this rock here. Oh god, I'm nearly there. I've done most of that on my bum. Super slippy and very steep. And I've lost my noodle on the way. Oh, so I can't. We'll see how deep it is whether I can swim or not. Oh, God, let's get to the bottom. So I've got to slide down this bit on my bum. Ooh, and there. I'm nearly there. Oh, I'll show you properly when I finally get down there. I've made it. Oh, okay. Look at this. It's probably worth it. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Here we go. I am in the water, look. God, I'm slipping, I'm sliding all He lied, he told me I could reach the bottom. I can't! <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we are, in South God. Not my big camera, I'm gonna go and put the camera away, I think. Oh, I had to swim, but I had to put the camera away because I couldn't swim with one hand. And it's very slippy when you stand on the rock. Uh, but oh, it's very refreshing, very refreshing. Probably. Mm. Oh, I lost my noodle, I'm very annoyed about that. I'll probably find my noodle on the way back. <laughs> Someone stole my noodle. Lovely though, wasn't it? Lovely! Not without my noodle I'm not swimming that far. Could have brought my life jacket. 
<laughs> so I'll be heading back soon. Got to climb all up those rocks all the way down again. It's probably going to take me some time. And then we'll see how we feel. We'll probably have lunch and we'll see where we feel. We've got about an hour to get to Mount Barnet where we want to camp tonight. Um, the thing is, it's so hot. And this has been, this has actually been the toughest walk we've done so far. This is very tough. Um, we'll see how we feel. turn off to come to Adcock's Gorge, round that way, and uh, <laughs> it's a pretty awful road, <laughs> if you can see it, like some of these bits here, I'll show you some of the rougher bits in a minute, and uh, well, anyway, we got this far and another, didn't see a soul until we got here and the car was coming so we stopped to let them pass and asked them, oh, how much further is it? And they said, don't know, mate, can't find it. <laughs> um, we've been up this road, they've been over boulders, they said the road gets worse and they couldn't find it. They walked and everything and they still couldn't find it. Um, I guess we could have thrown the drone off and seen where it was, but... But it is 39 degrees. <laughs> Yeah, but he said it's just, just not there. There are no other roads. This is the only road, so goodness knows where he is. Anyway, this couple were lovely, and they're going the opposite way to us, doing six miles from Brisbane to Perth. Um, so we swapped lots of tips. We uh, shared our thoughts on what we'd enjoyed, like Karajini and the Wales and how to get to South Lafoy through Ningaloo Road and ignore the road close sign. And they told us that uh, the Gibb River Road is going to get much worse at the end, <laughs> which I kind of knew it got worse as we went on. And um, uh, Zebedee Springs is definitely one we should do. Catherine Springs, wasn't it? Uh, at El Questro. Oh. And that, uh, we should go to Catherine Springs, which I think it means Edith Falls, oh. and um, Mataranka, um, which we were going to do on our way from Darwin to Daly's Water if we have time. So they said not to worry about Berry Springs, um, do Mataranka instead. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not do which one? Berry Springs. Yeah, don't bother that one. I swap out. So um, that was very useful. It was nice to get tips. Lovely couple. Yeah, um, it's like that person gave us a tip about Coronation Beach. Yeah, like we would never have found Coronation. Oh, we should have told them about Coronation yeah, Beach. Um, yeah, we wouldn't have known about that, but someone at the campsite told us, and it was a, such a beautiful campsite. And that's why it's worth like, this is these roads. And apparently, they get worse. four-wheel driving. <laughs> We've got a lot worse than this to come, so... Well, <laughs> now, all remember that Blue said he can't see it getting any worse than this, or when we get worse than this, OK? <laughs> uh, they also told us, because um, last night, Blue is not sure that he wants to go to Bungle Bungles, because how do you describe it? Just another set of rocks. Is Just that a set of rocks it? with rings around it? And it's a long way off, off our trajectory and the, the course we're taking just to go and see a bunch of rocks. So he's. I'm yeah. in an in about staying in Conorama uh, for a couple of days while I go and then I'll pick him up on the way back. But these guys said it was definitely worth doing. So we'll see how he feels when we get. To El Cuesta. 
I was trying to drink my tea on the way down here and that wasn't very successful. So I, hope, I think I'll give that up. And, uh, ooh, ooh. So thank you to uh, my viewer that recommended our cold cord. Um, I'm really sorry we didn't get there because no one can find it. Anyway, we're still heading now to Mount Barnet and to um, do Manning Gorge in the morning. And they've told us it takes three or four hours to do the walk, to do it nice and early in the morning. Um, so that's our plan to do early night. It well, it's always an early night. It's always an early night around our way. We go to sleep about eight. I'm still tired in the morning. Well, you are. I get up at five, I'm fine. <laughs> it's probably because you got the nice airy bit and I'm like... Well, he doesn't open his cab windows. He has them open a little bit at the top. No, I had them well open last night. Look. Also, if you'd slept the other way, you would get the breeze more. You're sort of putting your head into a cubby hole. But you don't like sleeping the other way, do you? I don't know why, but I just don't like sleeping the other way for some reason. I don't know, people are strange. There's no strangers. But you're shading your heads from the breeze. Oh no, you've got loads. Well, no, no, we we've not we had that cut off. Oh, we've done that bit. No, where we go there? Down here. We had done it yet. Came in on it on the other person's track. Oh, that bit. Oh, where we cut Oh, off. there it is. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, so that you don't have to do that really, really oh. bumpy bit. Oh. They did ask us if we've had a flat tie yet. God knows how we have. <laughs> yeah. We've got two spares. From what they were saying, we're going to be using those spares. <laughs> it's, it's the here. Well, well, no, we went on the next one. Well, we went on that one, but you find one will do. So it was just like the roads are there, but we're just taking this. Somebody's obviously just gone through here because it's horrendous down there. <laughs> Don't laugh. You should, I don't need to sell a tyre to a high nut, but. It's pretty amazing, pretty amazing vehicle. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good vehicle. I'm glad that I went with a truck like this. Any other vehicle, you could not come, even attempt to come down a track like this. I mean, look at that. That's where we're supposed to be going, down there. I mean, how are you going to get down there? Madness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, we can always try Galvin's Gorge. Hello. No, they're both like that. What do you mean it's locked? It's locked, isn't it? Yeah, it's that clip thing on it, doesn't it? No, it's locked. Is the other one locked? No, <clears throat> Oh, it's locked. Yeah, it's four minutes past three, and we just pulled into Mount Barnet Roadhouse to camp, and it shuts at three. Uh, the shop and the pump station, so we uh, have to go into the campground and pay the caretaker, and we'll have to get petrol tomorrow. So, well, we got waved down by the caretaker just as we were coming in to the road into the campground so we paid our fees, a lovely fella, it's funny you say it. Um, I went to, uh, yeah we just paid him our camp fees and he told us where to, gave us a map where to camp, go and go swimming tonight, they got a swimming area in the creek and then he told us about Manning Gorge uh, tomorrow morning and to go nice and early, it's going to take about 45 minutes to an hour each way. But he it says allow three hours. He's holding guns. <laughs> yeah, so that allow, allow three hours total. 
and he said, and it's very hot, so, and it's tricky in places. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. Looking forward to it, actually. This is one where you have to swim at the beginning to get across. <laughs> Should be fun. Whew. Anyway, thank goodness we saw him. I had no idea it shut at three. Gives you a bit of a panic. So you can't get any uh, diesel after more. three, so it'll be open again at 8.30 and we can get our diesel there. And they've got some, they've got drinking water there so, so we can fill our tank when we leave. And the tops. And, um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, and they had a, a trailer where we could throw our rubbish away, so that was good. Yeah. They're not bad. $50. Yeah, we got showers, toilets. There's a sign there, almost time for a swim. Oh, uh, yeah, toilet showers, oh, so, yeah, all pretty good, $50 for the night, for two of us, so $25 per adult. Um, does it tell you how much it is for kids? No, it didn't say on here. Well, it's not that, it's only a few pence more than a national park, so I'm not going to complain about that. Anyway, I'm looking forward to setting up, seeing what's planned. It's very nice around here, actually. Look, it's so peaceful. Hopefully it's not busy in the campsite. He was saying um, it's shut in on the 22nd of this month. So... Three weeks. The, yeah, the season is uh, ending soon. He also said he couldn't wait. He was fed up with people. He's going to go and hide away for a few months. Talk to no one. Um, we did have Wi-Fi signal up at the roadhouse, but... Uh, there's absolutely zilch down here. Don't know if we're getting any of the campsite. Nope. Oh. Not looking good. Um, people leaving, probably been there for the day. Oh, and they're quite strict here about their speed. Signs everywhere about it. Big sign on the roadhouse door. Don't speed or she'll be kicked out. I'll show the campsite when we get there. Okay, so we are now settled into our camp space at Manning Gorge or Mount Barnet. And uh, oh, we're in the middle of the trees. We just want to find somewhere quiet away from other people. Doesn't that make us sound unsociable? Well, no one warns like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, up early tomorrow to go to Manning Gorge. We'll see you then. Thanks. Ciao.